Okay, who's the older sister? Kathy. <laughs> and this is my daughter. And this is big sis, Barbara. Or Barb, or barbecue. <laughs> Our mother lived with me at the time that she found out that she had breast cancer, but she hid it from us. Yeah. My mom, she had breast cancer. My dad, he had breast cancer. <laughs> this is my mama, this is Laura, and she ha is a breast cancer survivor. She had a double mastectomy, radiation, and chemo, and came out on the other side, and she's healthy and cancer-free. <laughs> I have breast cancer. It's hard for me to admit it because I like to block it out because I like to think that I don't have breast cancer because I got breast cancer 18 years ago, but it came back and it's in my bones. And it's not curable when it's in the bones. I'm not able to adopt those words because it's too horrifying to me. <laughs> I could start crying. <laughs> When I read, when I got that letter, I started crying. I called my daughter, I called my sister. I mean, you just, you get this note and there's one sentence that says they found approximately three millimeter mass in the upper outer breast. You know, what is that? I can't believe how many women are told they might have cancer and they do not. They have biopsies and they don't need one. That is. So that just tells you that the machinery that is being used gives false positives. It's false. You can't help but think of the worst case scenario, like who doesn't, right? Because my breasts are so dense, they cannot get an accurate reading from a mammogram. And she's had so many mammograms that she can't remember how many mammograms she's actually had. And I worry that that's going to be my future too. I've had uh, multiple needle biopsies. That's not good enough. That's months and months of torture for a woman. One of the most painful things I've ever felt, uh, apart from giving birth, is having a mammogram. So there was that first one, I was, I started crying, I was like, this is it? There's nothing better? They can't find, figure something else out other than to smush your breath to like an inch? Are you kidding? All right, that's 10, Whoa. 45 pounds. Please don't let this machine clamp down on me. <laughs> Malfunction. Yeah. They'd screw it down to the very, very last bit of space that they can. I think that's why a lot of women do not get it because it's so uncomfortable. I have never had a mammogram. I have not been getting yearly mammograms. I think over the last 18 years since Susan was diagnosed, I've gotten three. And Susan's been yelling at me, do you get your mammogram? When are you getting your mammogram? I have, I've almost stopped talking to you I know, because but I didn't I, know how to get through to I you. You have to get a mammogram. I don't like mammograms. The, the younger, younger you the are. Young, the worse kind of breast cancer you get. 19 years old, first lump. Did the ultrasound, did the biopsy. Thank God it was benign. Around 25, a second lump appeared. That's the thing that gets me, when it can be prevented. It's a good time to be a woman. No, it's a great time to be a woman. What was the experience like of the scan? Oh my gosh. It's like body temperature, yeah. so you don't feel whether it's hot or cold. I had no idea what I was walking into. It felt comforting and okay. It's not perfect, yeah. It's not hot or cold. You'll have to wake me up in a minute. <laughs> the QT scan, it was really like going to a spa so much easier. It was painless.
I would do it three times a year if necessary. Ah, we have that on tape. I would. <laughs> We're all done. You okay there? <laughs> I hate to interrupt your rest. When I took the QT exam, they found a couple of small things, which I'm not worried about, that were not found on that other machine. Right. I want to know every little thing right. about what's going on in my body. If one has fear because, oh, I might get a false positive, going in for a mammogram, that if there's this calm <laughs> procedure, there is no reason not to go forward, not one iota of a reason. We need to be more aware of what's going on with our body. That's it.